So, if you ever make the decision to go to Jamaica, I would just say don't. Pick somewhere else. Let me I was miserable in Jamaica. All right, welcome to SoFlo TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. So, Jen to the Den. I don't know if you've seen this picture on uh, social media, and I picture this video on social media about, especially on YouTube, about this white woman talking about Jamaica uh, in not so good terms. Now, you know, you ever want to tell somebody about um, their mother yet? You ever want to tell somebody about the so called thunder of their mother yet? But you know it will neither serve a purpose or, right? So you feel the need to explain certain things to some people, right? Now, this lady dogged Jamaica. I mean, she dogged Jamaica. I've they have nothing. Like, I've never heard anybody ever made a video. Maybe videos are out there like that, but I've never heard a video anywhere. Of anyone dog in Jamaica. And let me say this before I go any further with this video. When you hear me on SoFlow TV or you hear brains do videos about crime and violence in Jamaica and this kind of stuff, it is because we are Jamaicans. And it is because we're talking about stuff that's going on in our homeland that we don't want to see there anymore. It does not give outsiders the right to disrespect our country because we speak about crime and violence. It's just like a person from the United States of America speaking about crime and violence in the United States of America. They still don't want to see you burn their flag, stomp on it, and say it's a shithole country. They're the first to tell you, take your ass back to where you come from then, or don't ever come here, right? So, for those of you who don't know, Jamaicans are usually very patriotic. They're very defensive when it comes to Jamaica. I'm going to go through some things that grind grinding my gears that this lady had to say right so she had this video where she talked about her two trips to Jamaica with her two ex-husbands and all this other stuff I didn't say anything about any of that that's to each his own live your life the, she talked about the driving the zigging and the zagging and they drive as if they have no rules and we the way that these people drive is absolutely insane they almost died and the police officers here, they don't go around with sirens and pull people over. They stand on the side of the road and they point. And when they point, you better pull that shit over. Pretty much in her exact words. She's not lying. I've done videos on that before where I talked about the zigging and the zagging. As she call it, the crazy driving in Jamaica. We know that's true, right? Some of the things she said in the video was true. And I know that she's probably going to end up watching this video because I'm going to use her video clips in this video. So, some of the things she said in her video, they were true. But the things that I found downright... Okay, listen. Are they building things or are they just falling down? So, she was talking about driving around in Jamaica then. And she said she saw these buildings, right? She's talking about the Ocho Reyes and Montego Bay area. You saw them everywhere. Are they building things or are they falling down? She's talking about how the place just looks so impoverished. Listen, instead of telling this lady about what I really want to... Let me, let, me ex, let me attempt to explain so somebody else can understand. You see in Jamaica, in Jamaica most of us, we own our houses. We own our land, okay? And it's passed down from generation to generation. Right, I know a lot of y'all are not, um, especially white Americans, are not too in tuned with too many black people owning houses and land and all that, but we own ours. A lot of us do. So, especially those areas that you were in. So, those buildings that you saw, we couldn't tell if they were falling down or if they were being built up. I know they were probably big as hell. And you thought there's no way that could be a house that looks like a building. Alright, so here is one picture of one of these types of houses that this white woman, Jen, might have seen. And yes, this is a house. This is not a hotel. This is not some commercial building. This is an unfinished house. Why so many rooms? I don't know. We do it like that, though. 
some office building or something that's falling down. No. Sometimes it takes us years to finish a house. Five years, ten years, fifteen years to finish a house. But we work hard. Majority of Jamaicans are hardworking people. So we work hard and we take our money, we take it back home, and we build little by little until we finish. We have finished constructing our dream home. So you might see a lot of those in Jamaica, that's what's going on. It's not that the place is impoverished, it's people building on their own land and they're taking their time to do so, all right? Her perception is that it was an impoverished place and the building them tear down and it looked like um, you couldn't tell if they were being built under construction, building up or if they were tearing down. The thing that one that grinded my gears now, she talked about the black girl in the black bikini. And Skin was so dark. She almost matched her bathing suit. It was just so strange. And how she was so black. She was matching her, almost matching her bathing suit. It was the undertone. Because people on her channel are saying, so I guess if you had said there was a white girl in a white bikini, um, and sh she was so pale, she was almost matching her bathing suit, which would have never happened because this is white. And I don't think you would ever see any person, human being, this color right here. So if a white person, pale white people, you know what they look like, pink. If they ever put this on, you would still be able to differentiate between them and the bikini. But, you know, racist people, that's the thing with them. A lot of them don't even know they're racist because they're so comfortable being racist that they say some racist shit and act like it's okay what I just said. Don't get too offended. You're, you're, you're overreacting. Now she talked about this black girl in her black bikini and the way she said it, like if you listen to her, she said stuff like, it was so strange. What was so strange? And how she emphasized it and said it over and over again. It was so strange. What the fuck was so strange about seeing a black woman in a black bikini? And she talked about how the woman foot bottom hard and you can tell she do this for um, every day and she had some KFC bucket on her head upside down dancing and she finished the dance with a split I'm thinking Jen was with her ex-husband right but the way how her ex-husband was entranced by this black beauty that was in a black bikini that made her look as if she was wearing nothing fit enough to finish with a split she was offended it's like me come off with my man and you look like you want to fling something upon him and he looked like him want to take it too. Well, Jen got to understand that a lot of you white people come to Jamaica for sex. Okay? You come to Jamaica for sex. Man tell his wife, honey, I'm going on a business trip. He's in Jamaica looking for a black vagina. Woman tell her husband, honey, we're going to Jamaica, me and the girls. They're down there at um, hedonism getting rammed left, right, and center by... The butler, the dishwasher guy, the pool guy, all kinds of black, you know what, up in your, you know where. So, don't act like this lady was so not beautiful and it was so strange. And that's what people had a problem with. The way how you said what you said, right? No. She said more other things like, it is like the sun's asshole is sitting on your face and farting wet air. This is how she described Jamaica. It is like the sun's asshole was sitting on your face and farting wet air. I've lived in Texas and worked in Texas for a while now. And there's nowhere in Jamaica that has ever felt like how Texas feels in the summertime. Okay? And I've been to parts of Texas like Brownfield that's close to the Mexican border. And this place is dusty as hell. Dust storms in the middle of the day. Dust so thick you can't see your hand in front of your face. You have to run for cover dust. And when you turn your car on, dust comes out of your AC unit. And it's hot as hell. So for this America or USA white woman to say Jamaica just feels like it is like the sun's asshole is sitting on your face and fart. She went through lengths. You could have just said it was hot as hell. Because there are other places in the world that are hotter. And she claims to be a well-traveled person. I'm sure she's been to other places that are hot. But no, Jamaica felt like 
the son's asshole was sitting on your face and farting wet air. You see their mentality? Asshole on your face. The, anyways, the people not very friendly. This is another one that bothered me. The people not very friendly. And I can understand because they have nothing. They have nothing. She was talking about the resort that she was in. And she said, I don't know if it's, our, if it's, the, if it's the resort that I was in, but the people are not very friendly. The people are not very friendly. And I can understand that because they have nothing. They leave these wonderful resorts every day and they go home to shacks. And I can understand because they have nothing. That is their perception of us. So when you licky licky, dirty nasty, I want to cuss some of you Jamaicans out because you were over on her page, on her YouTube channel, talking about, oh, I want to apologize for your bad experience. In apologize, my bumbo. Apologize for what? You want to apologize because this little white girl went to Jamaica or this big old crusty white woman went to Jamaica and didn't have a good time and came back with some negative comments about black people, so you want to apologize? To her, the boot when the boot licking stops, you guys will start to know yourself. The people not very friendly, and I can understand because they have nothing. They leave these wonderful resorts every day, and they go home to shacks. So I shock you, living up. That's her perception of us. The only time we get to see somewhere nice is when we're employed at these resorts. Right? And she went on to say stuff like, and you could tell they wanted to kill us. I bet they wanted to kill us in there. When they are serving you, you can see that they are smiling. But you can feel that hatred right below the surface. That's what she said. So, for, for my brothers and sisters, even when you're serving these demons, right? Even when you're serving them with a smile, they're still thinking the worst of you. You know, they, they fucking want to kill probably all of us. And I know it's just a job and you go in and you get the money, right? But a lot of you put your heart and soul into this. And a lot of Jamaicans really care for just people in general. And they're not trying to get mixed up in the whole color thing and how people see them and all this. But maybe they should. Maybe they should. And I'm not going to let this one white woman perception of everybody else spoil it for me, right? But if there is one, there are many more. And you can tell there are many more by going to her channel and just looking in the comment section. Because there are other people there that are saying, yes, I went and it was my experience too. The thing that I've gotten to know about these people, they will go to Jamaica, they will have a blast. Time of their life. Shit they can't even tell people about they did. What they did. But what happens in Jamaica stays in Jamaica. And then they'll come back. And they'll pretend none of that happened. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't have a good trip. I hate that place. I'm never going there again. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. Right? When they're serving you, you can see that they're smiling. But you can feel that hatred right below the surface. You can see the kind of like, like when they're serving you or like, like giving you a drink or serving you food or even asking a question. You can see that they're smiling, but you can feel that just hatred right below the surface. That's how they see us. And the last one, when you're walking around, Everybody's trying to sell you some weed. Okay, check it. Again, she's only been to the tourist areas, right? And men in the tourist area selling weed. You know why they're selling weed there? Because that's what you all are looking for. Don't get it. Don't, don't, don't. The, the thing that killed me about this lady is so many Americans are, are USA people. Citizens are hooked on all kinds of stuff, not just weed. And it's a lucrative business. Any country you go to or any Caribbean island you go to, I know if you're here on vacation, okay, I can make a whole market out of that, supplying the tourist people with all the illicit drugs that they need. They want ecstasy. They want coke. They want weed. They want crack. They want heroin. They want all that shit. You think a heroin addict is going to take a damn vacation to Jamaica and know that there's no heroin there? There better be some heroin there when he gets there. Same thing for a crack addict, a coke addict, a, a, a marijuana addict. And the people are there to provide your needs. So if you don't want it, just say you don't want it. 
But there are literally millions of your white people that come there that want it. So the man just a check for make sure so y'all know one of them. Because if you are, bam, he got a sale. Oh man, I want y'all to leave your comment in the comment section and tell me what you think. And oh, this lady style up Jamaica. Because I think she did it in the worst way possible. And again, I could come on here and make a video and rant and throw middle fingers up and say kiss out on them, but it wouldn't solve anything. Okay? It wouldn't solve anything. When you go to other people's country, there are things about their culture that you might not like. But you don't dog the people when you leave. And I hope that I don't come off as just like a Jamaica hater, but I just gotta say, like, don't go there. Pick somewhere else. Or you might not understand, but you seek to understand, right? And if dark-skinned people is a, is, is a problem for you, then don't go to countries where it's predominantly brown people or dark-skinned people. Go to a European country. I'm just saying. It's SoFlo TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Let me hear what you got to say about this one. I'm out of here. Watch the video. Watch the video. Hear what the Uman said. All right? I'm out. Peace.